here it appears that uh, the trail has been blocked. This dead old cottonwood tree has been standing up for years. It was a roost for many of the turkey vultures that live near area in this time of year. It seems to have finally collapsed, blocking the trail. Take them a while to get to these things. It'll probably be another year before they get out here with the chainsaw and cut it up. That's okay. Part of nature there. You know, I like my morning walks. I like to watch the sunrise. You know, I got. I got bad hips, knees, feet. They ache all the time, but if I don't get out and do a walk, I know I'll walk two, three miles a day. It helps, actually. If I don't, it'll stiffen up on me and I'll lose the ability to walk again. I don't want to do that. Be able to get out here and see the nature. current to me about the things going on in the world today you know that the elites the rich elites power hungry bastards like Bill Gates the royal family and all them they all consider the overpopulation as a problem Our population growth is a problem they think of us as a virus on the earth You've all heard them say it. Some of you might even believe it. It's not overcrowded. Just in the cities where they cram everybody. Most of the world's quite empty of people. It's just in the cities and metropolis areas along the major highways where all the people are. You know, if they think of us as a virus, is that shot really for the crap from Wuhan? Or is it uh, to treat the virus of people? Think about that. I'm going to try to put a link down below. I'd like to go check it out. The stuff they put in them vax. They don't tell you about. It's dangerous. What they're doing to people is not right. In fact, it's a crime against humanity. Until someone can explain to me how forcing someone to put something in their body they don't want is any different than rape. You know, maybe I have a hard sell for me. I had the flu last year. Felt like a bad chest cold for about a week. I'm over it. My wife never caught it. She was around me the whole time while we was quarantined in our house. She never caught it. And she's, she hasn't had so much as a cold her whole life. She grew up on a farm with chickens and hogs and cattle and rabbits and all sorts of critters. Constant contact with these animals, nature. She never had a cold, as much as a cold her whole life. She's older than me. She won't take the jab. Anyone tries to force it on her, I'm gonna they're gonna have to go through me. And I will defend her with my life. They best not try it. They value their lives. I can be a pretty violent man when I rouse to it. I don't want to. 
so don't mess with us. You don't want it. I wonder, you know, there's nanites in that jab, some of them. You want little robots running around in your brain, attach themselves to your brain stem, such. What happens when they activate the nanites in all the virus shots? You know, a zombie isn't a living dead person or walking dead. A zombie is a person that's been enslaved, a mindless slave of the witch that put the poison in them that made them that way. Are they going to turn everybody into zombies? Mind-controlled robots?